Hi, I'm Dr. Mangla. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF at KC Raju Hospital, Bangalore. Fallopian tubes are the region where the egg meets the sperm and thereby fertilization occurs and results in a pregnancy. So if these tubes are blocked due to several reasons, maybe an infection or perhaps endometriosis or previous surgery or abortion, then this fertilization cannot occur and thereby it cannot result in a pregnancy. So how can we treat these blocked fallopian tubes? There are certain methods of treating these blocked fallopian tubes and one of the most common one is to go for a surgery. So the surgery can be done either through an open surgery or through a laparoscopic surgery. Generally in infertile patients we prefer a laparoscopic surgery as it is minimally invasive. So in laparoscopic surgery we can do something called as a tubal cannulation whereas a cannula is passed into the tube to enable the tubes to open up or we can also cut the blocked, totally blocked part of the tube and then re-anastomose the free ends which are mobile and which are open. So these are some of the surgeries that are done. So apart from the surgical part, uh, we also have what is known as IVF. There have been some cases in which the tubes cannot be open at all no matter whatever surgery we do. In such conditions, an IVF is the best method and probably if you look at it in the long run, so it's also cost effective. So IVF meaning in vitro fertilization or in other words test tube baby is a condition where the eggs and the sperm are made to fertilize externally in the inner test tube and then once it forms an embryo on day 3 to day 5 we put it back into the uterus. So here we are bypassing the, uh, the role of the fallopian tubes. Now apart from this you may have seen that there are several things available on the net such as acupuncture, acupressure or even some herbal remedies or even yoga. But if a tube is diseased and blocked I don't think any of these methods can help serve the purpose. So the best bet would be to go for an IVF or for a tubal surgery. Thank you.